It's totally okay for women to know a man's past and hold him accountable for it. Whether it's about the women he's been with, his education, the money he has in the bank, his wealth, his business, and how much he will make in the future. Yet when men ask about a woman's past, how many guys she was with, and her body count, they get offended and act like the man is invading their privacy or being manipulative or emotionally abusive. The Double Standards of Women There's no end to the double standards that women apply to men. Men are expected to understand and respect women's hormones and act accordingly. But women are never going to understand men's testosterone and masculine tendencies. In fact, men are supposed to suppress it. Women can go about and sleep with however many men they can and even showcase themselves online for millions to see. Yet men are expected to be completely okay with it. Here's the truth. Everybody has a past. And yes, you're going to be judged by it because your past, both good and bad, will catch up with you no matter how hard you try to hide or run from it. Women are extremely interested in knowing about a man's financial future when it comes to long-term partnerships or having children. You must thus take her personal history very seriously. Women don't pay any attention to your difficulties. Women are selective creatures. At the finish line, they wait and choose the winners. That's the reality that many men seldom seem to know. It's a give and take in any relationship, and women make sure they know they are with someone who can provide for them. Similarly, men need to know what her past was like, how many men she dated, did she cheated, or is she divorced, or how many guys was she in a physical relationship with. Men need to know this so that they know if the woman they're going to invest their time, energy, and resources in is loyal and will stay with him. Therefore, if it's a short-term relationship, men shouldn't worry about a woman's background because it doesn't really matter. Nothing that may be significant is meant to come of this, as far as you know. If it's a one-night stand with benefits, then who cares? However, it is crucial to understand her background if you plan to date her long-term, or more precisely, if you're seeking a girlfriend or someone to start a family with. In reality, she is quite interested in your abilities to care for and defend yourself as a man and as a strong male role model in a family since she's going to spend her life with you and raise children. Why the past is important for men. I'll explain why you should be interested in learning about her background. A woman has a very low chance of developing a healthy monogamous bond with one man over the course of a lengthy period of time if she has a high notch count, a history of promiscuity in which she slept with many men, and she lost her virginity at an early age. Numerous studies have been done on this. If you compare two ladies, one who started at age 20 and has a notch count of 2 versus one who started at age 16 and has a notch count of 50, the former is by far the wiser option. There will be a lower chance of divorce for you. Your chances of developing a strong relationship with her will be greater. At this point, some claim that men and women are the same. Usually, people ask why males can be promiscuous without consequence, but women can't. Men and women are different after all. Men and women are complementary to one another's lives, which is where the freak show begins. They are not the same. They are not alike. They are extremely unlike. Men have enormous amounts of testosterone, after all. Estrogen is present in women in large amounts. When it comes to hormone levels and how we interact with one another intimately, we are extremely different from each other's points of view and all the research and data show that women who have a history of promiscuity find it difficult to develop good, long-term monogamous ties with males. If you're a woman watching this and you're hoping to meet a good guy to have a family with, don't be a garden tool and don't go tossing it about to every person who shows you some attention. That's simply the reality of the intimate market. You want to maintain your attractiveness, so make sure your notch isn't something that would raise most eyebrows. That is simply the way things are, and you know that no amount of fighting, finger pointing, or shouting can ever change that. It will always be that way. Since there is a 100% probability that she won't be truthful if you ask her, many males ask how you calculate the count. One of two things will happen if you question a lady about her notch count. Either she will lie or understate it. When women talk about this number, they are picturing anything lasting longer than a few months, such as boyfriends who lasted more than three months, anything that qualifies as a one-night stand what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, or that vacation to Europe for the summer that lasted for two and a half months, friends with benefits, female encounters, and anything else. They avoid recalling those. 
therefore you won't receive a precise figure. Although a number will be given to you, it won't be exact. I mean, if you want to be lazy, just double it by two or three. If you want to establish this with a female who is 31 years old, the best strategy is to just ask her about her 20s and what she did during that period. It's a good indication that the relationship is open or that she is a keeper if she claims to have recently broken up with the partner she had been dating since she was 20. She didn't have a greater count. It's a respectable low-notch count. You won't see it very frequently. Instead, you'll likely encounter more counts who say things like they traveled across Europe throughout their 20s, or that they worked at an island festival, or that they were on a cruise ship for five years. In actuality, you'll never learn the precise figure. You need to be quite careful about her intimate past, because when it comes to long-term partnerships or having children, you are very anxious about your financial future. If you're not, you may put yourself in a lot of trouble. So, in a nutshell, get to know her past before you commit to her, guys. Otherwise, there will be a lot of regret and misery waiting for you if you end up with the wrong person. The fact is, women really have endless excuses when it comes to hiding their past. I love how women always want to bring up how we are in different generations from our grandparents. People have been on the planet for thousands of years, and the bond between men and women has always been the same. There have always been good men and bad men. There have always been good women and bad women. So let's not talk about who is better or who is worse. For thousands of years, we have been through wars, depressions, and natural disasters. The ongoing battle between the genders. The human population has survived and grown. We have had marriages and relationships, now, over the last 80 years or so, the entire family dynamic has fallen apart. Marriages are almost non-existent, and there is a gender war. Grown women are crying about being unable to find a man. Over half the population of men and women are single. We have an epidemic of solo mums. The crime rate is higher than it's ever been. For the first time in human history, we are looking at a population decline. For any man interested in a long-term relationship and struggling, do yourself a favor and stop dating, especially if located in Western society. Take a look at your values and look around worldwide. Study different parts of the world, their lives, Middle East, Eastern Europe, and Southeast Asia. There are plenty of places where the likelihood of finding marriage material with similar values shifts drastically if you are serious about starting a family. The second piece of advice, make sure you know a lot about your girl's country and are fine with living there higher chance she gets less poisoned by Western society and her values start to wear off. Third, do not keep watching the drama all over YouTube. Put yourself in a decent financial status, make a move, explore places, and see what works best for you. Here's a statistic that practically ends this debate. According to research, after five partners, a woman is functionally unfit for marriage if you don't want to end up divorced. So why would a man want to marry a woman with a high body count? And why would he not ask about the body count, since it is such an important matter? Truth is, women know their past isn't something that's going to help them in the future. They know their time with Chad and Tyrone isn't something the man they're monkey branching off to now is going to like. So, they try to keep it hidden for as long as they can. And they're good at it. But it tells you a lot about their thinking and their mindset. And that's something every man has to know before thinking about commitment. Thanks for watching Man Reacts. Show us your love and support by liking this video, sharing it with your friends, and subscribing to the channel. And let us know your thoughts on this in the comments. We're always up for a healthy debate and discussion.